And we're live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I am one of your hosts. But uh, uh, this month we have been doing a mustache matinee. But we are taking a side journey with a journey with Dustin here because Hello. guess what? It's your birthday. So, oh well. Um, when was your happy birthday? birthday? My birthday was yesterday. So, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> I, uh, so, wish been better. Why don't you tell us about the first of your choices for tonight and uh, so, what were you well, were uh, subjected to? What do you mean subjected to? This was really <laughs> fun. Never. Anyway, so uh, I picked two of. So. Uh, my favorite subgenre is animal horror and especially reptile monsters. Well, reptiles as monsters. And so I picked two of my favorites in that subgenre for our double feature to episodes tonight. So our first episode, which you're listening to now, is on Alligator 2, which I can't quite remember the year. Is it 1990 or 1989? 91. 91. Okay, so I was still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> So this is basically your standard monster movie where there's a giant alligator in the sewers and it has to be stopped. Uh, it's very similar to the first alligator movie and plot wise. However, it goes in kind of a friendlier direction. Like it's not nearly as brutal or, and graphic. Uh, it's more of a it's more of a fun movie. Like this is a movie that you could maybe show your kids and get away with it. Like there's blood, but it's not particularly nasty. Would anybody? Would everybody agree with that? I would have. Well, to I'd agree. Vinny is. <laughs> Vinny is particularly nasty. Uh, and, well, I and mean, there's, you're not no, seeing, there's a good mustache in it too. You're not seeing limbs flying everywhere. Yeah. Right. No, I had trouble. I was trying to find a good mustache image to use for my icon. This was the best I could find. You couldn't use Kane Hodder. <laughs> Because Kane Hodder was in this movie, so he right. Gets eaten Which one was by he? the alligator? He's one of the alligator hunters. All right, cool. Like so. it's he. He's so young, and he's. I think he did have a mustache. Actually, he's hard to recognize because I saw him, and I was yeah. like, something about that guy. Oh, I don't know. And then I was watching the credits, and Kane Hodder. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, what? <laughs> um, but anyway, so. Jumping right along to first impressions, so I saw this on TV as a child. I have no idea how old I actually was, and I remembered liking it more than I liked the first alligator, uh, just because in the first alligator, like, it was a little too violent for me when I first saw it. Like, I first saw alligator when I was maybe, I want to say five or six, something like that. I'd have to go back to our alligator episode to check on that. But, um, I mean, I saw that pretty young. And it was, it was, the alligator was nasty in that. Like, a lot more blood than this one. And then I saw this one on TV, and I just remember enjoying it more. And so, whenever it was on TV, I would sit down and watch this one. So, I, I have good memories of this movie. And it still holds up as just kind of a, fun monster movie it does turn into a bit of a buddy cop movie after a point um uh, where they're still hunting the alligator but uh, the focus shifts a little bit more on the main character and the rookie cop that he's teamed up with so this is this is such a fun movie like i'm, I'm happy we get to talk about it <laughs> uh also kind of a rare film it's actually very difficult to get a hold of this one uh, at least in the U.S. So Brandon was able to find a foreign Blu-ray for us. So uh, kudos to Brandon. And thanks to Brandon, actually. I saw this movie in HD for the very first time. I've only ever seen it in, like, VHS quality. Oh, sorry. Uh, it was a DVD. Well, it was a DVD, but it's still pretty good to quality. Well, DVD, DVD is technically... It's still pretty good compared to, like, the... 260 pi or whatever the heck i was seeing it before because i mean i would see this on like tnt or 
wherever. And it would look terrible. And I think you can see this on YouTube as well, and it also looks terrible there. And you can't buy it in the U. What? That's where I watched it on YouTube. Yeah. And it also, and I bet the quality was awful, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was yep. pretty dark see? and hard to see. It wasn't totally bad to see, but definitely hard to see. And so this movie is difficult to find in like a good format, um, at least in the US. So there is a Blu ray from Spain, which I have strongly considered buying a few times, but it's kind of expensive and it have to be imported. So. Ew. But anyway, moving on with uh, first impressions, who wants to go next? I'll go next. Uh, I also saw this on television years ago. Uh, I believe they presented it on USA Network at first, but then, uh, uh, but uh, but then Sci-Fi would have it on uh, uh, with the, uh, their creature feature uh, marathons and things and. Oftentimes they would have it playing right after Alligator, and uh, I remember the, uh, uh, this one be, uh, be, uh, being um, fairly friendly to uh, to uh, as an audience. Like uh, I, I remembered thinking that Alligator was a hell of a lot better at the time, but uh, 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 at least as far as feelings go. And, uh, but, uh, but I do think they, uh, they got the, uh, uh, like the part where, where the alligator ju uh, just kind of like busts through the wall. That, uh, that is fucking awesome, you know? And you, you don't often, uh, uh, you, you don't often see that in any of your National Geographic sh uh, uh, documentaries that you see. You, uh, you may see, is uh, see him chomping on a wildebeest, but, you don't see him crashing through a wall. Of any yeah, time. you see ridiculous <laughs> displays of power from uh, the <laughs> creatures in monster movies. And that's one of the reasons I love the alligator series, because they do things that a real alligator could never in a hundred years do. Like smashing through that concrete wall. Or in the first <laughs> alligator, like when it breaks through the street. Like that's my favorite scene in that first movie. That, um, yeah, yeah. The the monstrous strength uh, that uh, that these giant monsters uh, 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 you you could almost call this like a Kaiju movie almost. Uh, I wouldn't quite go that far. <laughs> I mean, it's big, but it's not that. I don't think it's that big. But well, he's not I fairly buildings. I fairly enjoyed uh, enjoyed this uh, film. I did like seeing Dee Wallace, even though she wasn't on the screen that much. Um, uh, uh, she was in there enough to uh, to, uh, to be the <coughs> the My opposite se uh, sex, the wife, um, and uh, I think she a, did what she needed to do. She had a useful role too. She was a scientist. She played the scientist who uh, gave them important information about the alligator. So it wasn't a it wasn't a throwaway role. And there was ultimately a connection to the original film. Uh, 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 alligator uh, explained a little bit. Uh, uh, they finally decided to connect it midway through. So I thought that was uh, decent that they at least connected it to the first uh, first uh, uh, film, you know? With the so, chemicals? Yeah. So they the future, also had... Uh, future chemicals. They also had a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a kind of hidden one. Uh in the first one, the alligator's name is Ramon, and they had a wrestling match between Ramon and the Beast, or whatever that guy's name was. And so I, I like to think that they, that was a little bit of a nod to the alligator in the first movie, because there's a scene in a club where that where that wrestling match happens. So. Oh yeah. Anyway, uh, who's next? Uh, why not? Uh, I had never heard of the series before we covered the first one and I hated how terrible the YouTube copy was. So after that I went on the hunt for a long time just trying to find me a double feature. And the only one I could find is a DVD from Australia that had double feature. And I was like, okay, I will take a shot since I have a region free player. And I was extremely happy 
to see the first movie uh, crystal clear in comparison. <laughs> and uh, I was also happy to know that the second movie, really and truly, though there are some basic connections, I could see people watching the second movie without seeing the first. And it holds up pretty well. I actually liked the second one better than the first. I like the pacing better, and uh, in general, I like the characters better. And the alligator was kind of cool, too. I like the, the mutant alligator stuff. I had watched it back-to-back -back with Trailer Park Shark, which also involved a uh, mutant animal. Um, but this time it was an electric shark. <laughs> well, I, I think the alligator probably looks better than the shark in that movie. Oh, m most definitely. Uh, this one had a little bit more to it than Trailer Park Shark did. Um, and uh, I did enjoy it in general as far as monster movies go. Uh, a friend, uh, I know an old friend of uh, Jake uh, and mine, uh, who sadly has uh, had passed in 2020, uh, he used to love these types of movies. He used to label them Monster Eats movies <laughs> where you would have this kind of monster that would go around basically killing and eating people essentially and uh i think he would have loved this film um and uh, i just enjoyed it too it was a good fun romp glad to have the double feature in my collection nice it'd be real great if uh this has been proposed a few times since last we heard lionsgate owns alligator uh, there's been some talk, mostly from me, about getting a Vestron Blu-ray of Alligator 1 and 2, like a double feature. Uh, it'll probably never happen. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I've actually talked to people who produce Blu-rays, and pretty much all of them say, you know, they don't understand why Alligator hasn't been released yet either. Like, it baffles them as well. Like, uh, I talked to Michael Felsher of uh, Red Shirt Pictures. He does the extras for a lot, a lot of releases uh, for Shout Factory and Arrow and more. And so when I mentioned Alligator, he's like, that's a very good question. You know, and I think you might have been trying to find out for me at some point. But uh, that was a while ago, so he might not even, he probably doesn't even remember that conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, these do seem like movies that would be in Shout's wheelhouse, definitely. Yeah. I could see them more for Arrow. I've, yeah. asked Shout, I've asked Shout to release these many times, because Shout does often ask, you know, what movies... When Shout was in its earlier days, I would ask... Uh, what They would ask their Facebook groups and stuff, like, what movies would you like to see? Uh, and I actually have a kind of cool story about that. I'm just going to rattle off real quick. So I told them I would want to see Alligator and Tales from the Hood. And I actually got a reply from them. And they said Alligator was completely out of the question. Like, there was no way they could get it. Um, which implied a lot of things. But they said that nobody had ever suggested Tales from the Hood before. And that they would look into it. And then Tales from the Hood was released by them next the next year. Nice. So I, mm -hmm. I take slight responsibility for that. <laughs> uh, you want to go next, Jake? Sure. Um, I agree with uh, Brandon's assessment that prior to our discussion of Alligator, I don't believe I had heard of this franchise, or at least I was not at all familiar with it. And um, I will be honest, I came at this going, well... I like the first one well enough, but it can't be that good. Um, and I, I was pleasantly surprised. I think it's it's objectively not a good movie, but it's wow. entertaining. It does have a lot of... Well, I mean, it hits all the beats it's supposed to hit. Like, there are parts where you can almost see, okay, well, we did this, now we got to go to this scene. You know, like, you can almost see the writers had had blocked it off, like, you know. All right, <laughs> I, fair. I, 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 I feel that, you know, but that said, like I said, Vinny is a very effective villain that, uh, I, I, you know, I, I made that joke about uh, he must be related to uh, garbage from uh, 
great dictator because they have the same smile. I, I do well, think that <laughs> Well, Vinny is played by Steve Brails back, and right. I, I'm not sure if you were on our discussion with Helter Skelter, but he played no. the... Uh, the I remember uh, him as Ed Gein from In the Light of the Moon. Well, mm. he played um, um, Manson uh, in uh, Helter Skelter. Oh. Um, oh, okay. In the original Helter Skelter, as, as a young guy. That. So, um, but um, I remembered him from that. Uh, that, and I, I've seen him in several indie films as well. You, so, you uh, don't so. remember? You don't remember him more from Barbed Wire? Uh, <laughs> I'm no, I, so I, the, uh, uh, there's <laughs> only one person that I can remember from Barbed Wire really well. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I was just What's looking through wire? the filmography. The barbed wire? wire? You don't know barbed wire? It's I feel a like I've seen the Pamela Anderson. Was, Anderson. Was the, yeah, notorious uh, star vehicle for Pamela Anderson. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, I think I get what it is now. But, but, <laughs> it, it, but anyway. It, it was uh, a noir sci fi fl uh, flick that. Anyway, a lot Jake, of continue. <laughs> But yeah, overall, um, I, I thought it was pretty fun and, uh, you know, a little cheesy. And like I said, the, uh, you know, uh, incredibly predictable in a lot of ways. The, uh, you know, that, that budding, uh, like I think it was Brandon that said it becomes kind of a buddy cop film. You know, you get that, that I sort of, that. oh, you said that, sorry. But um, you know, it's it's almost like you got a little bit of a, a Top Gun type bromance going on there, where you get the 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 rookie who hero worships the other guy until he <laughs> realizes that he really is kind of a loose cannon. But then, of course, they make up, and then at the end, you really do have that Maverick and Ice scene. <laughs> it's like, I got a kick. I, uh, <laughs> I got a kick how to, uh, how they had to put a quarter just to get into the stall. That was messed up. <laughs> right, that is, yeah. Uh, but yeah, overall, it was good times. Yeah. All right. And uh, let's finish off with you, Kroll. Well, I wasn't here for Alligator 1. So this is the first time I've ever even heard of uh, Alligator 1 and 2. So um, that being said, I think I want to see 1 because it sounds like I might, I might like it more. I like more gore and blood. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it was um it was an interesting movie like i said it was you know predictable nothing really uh insane happened but going through the concrete like someone mentioned that was really cool um I, I, so over, overall i thought the movie was uh decent for a creature feature and uh look forward to watching the uh, first one okay I think that's pretty much it for crawl right yeah okay dustin did you want to pick up from here um sure so i'm just kind of getting into the plot so we first start off with our first uh, alligator attack so these two guys are night fishing with spears and the alligator we see the alligator pretty fast in this one so, did anybody have any thoughts about that? How we just kind of jump right into it, like no suspense, really? Hey, I like uh, I, I like a good quick uh, run up to some. Oh, just sometimes it takes you off guard because we're always used to the uh, used to the slow build up. But in this case, it just hits you right in the face, uh, and sometimes that's a good thing. Gets you right into the action. Because it's so, it, it oh. starts with those two fishermen that go into the reeds, right? Right. I think there was actually another scene right before that. Now that I uh, make an idiot of myself, uh, I think we we get a flashback to some to them dumping chemicals in the sewer. Yeah, you have that first scene with. Um, it's very you, quick. The 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 mustache dude who I was trying to find the picture of, who had the fun <laughs> accent, and then this other guy, and they're dumping the chemicals. And and Vinny is standing there just glowering, whatever, and was like, um, I, yeah. And I made I made some joke about like uh, I think the mustache dude is like, you know, well, why don't you ask Vinny? And 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 I was just like, got any questions? Yes. Ask Vinny. 
I'm like, it looks like it looks like Vinny wants you to ask him. Yes. <laughs> but I do want to say one thing I should have said in my opening thing. And this is one thing I very much appreciated about both of these movies <clears throat> is that I do I do enjoy villains. I do enjoy movies where the villains are uh wrecking the uh, environment because I really, really, really love it when they get it in the end. <laughs> and this, the Vinny in, in, in the other movie, you have a petroleum, uh, well, an, an oil, an oil company exec here. You have a real estate developer and those are two of the worst of the worst of the worst. So it was kind of nice seeing that uh, little flavor to the, uh, movies <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah i haven't said it really yeah. that um it, it's great when they get their come up come up since you know it's uh wonderful <laughs> <laughs> can't wait for right. it's yeah, delicious um, oh yeah <laughs> yeah that scene happens so fast i it completely skipped my mind like uh sorry guys well, if anything, it's a good villain entrance because uh, because they pan up to him like he's bigger than them, you know already. So, uh, so uh, I, I I did enjoy that uh, that uh, beginning. Uh, they definitely, um, when it came to having steel Steve Rails back in the uh, in the f uh, film, they de uh, definitely didn't skim much wh when he was on screen. So. But then we get that uh, um, that attack where we almost like uh, get that infrared underneath the water, and you can almost see like the uh, the alligator's mouth in the redness. You know. Yeah, if you know, if you pay really close attention, it looks like the red cloud of blood kind of comes in with the alligator before it actually bites the guy. So I will be I will be kind of the first uh, person to admit that. Alligator 2 is not as good as the first Alligator movie, like, in terms <laughs> of as a movie, but I think it's more enjoyable, like, in terms of, like, fun factor. So it has its advantages, despite being more or less the same story. Uh, and that first attack is pretty good. So we get a good look at the Alligator right away. I think they might have even used the same uh, puppet. Like, yeah, I would say I, I I I would say uh, uh, say uh, say that they uh, they used the same puppet uh, at, at least, um, but um, there were moments like you could tell that they were using a, a, a real alligator at times, um, uh, uh, like they were when, uh, at a real alligator. Yeah, when he was in the sewer. Uh, you, you could tell he was a real alligator crawling along, but uh, but w when he was punching through the wall, no, that was the pu uh, puppet. But when they, <laughs> you actually see him crawling al uh, al along, uh, uh, and of course uh, the puppet was the uh, the one that you see, uh, saw just the head of going through the carnival grounds. So, <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, why don't you take us after the uh, the initial first attack? Uh, well, after that, I think we are introduced to uh, Halligan, our main character. I almost called him Hallahan. Did I get it right? And his name, uh, his first name is Dave. So I think that's another reason Hodges, why I like Hodges. Hodges. Hodges, yeah. A lot of H's. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, a lot of H's. A lot of H's. Right, I can't remember what it was. A, a lot, lot of H's. H's. You called, got the... Uh, called Halligan, aren't they? You got Hodges is the is the main guy. The rookie is Harmon. The uh, the gator <laughs> hunter is Hawk Hawkins. It was like... <laughs> I, I, they were stuck on H for this one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right. What the H... Well, the first time we meet Hodges, I guess, is when he wakes up and he walks into the kitchen and his wife has got this elaborate birthday cake. 
and, and right. like a, a, v, a VHS video because I, I guess they're always missing each other. So, so this is her way of telling him he's only going to get his birthday present if he shows up. Yeah, we get some exposition that he works <laughs> nights. Um, and there's mm-hmm. some there's some fairly good jokes in there too. It's like having an affair with Zoro. Not that I don't really like it, but <laughs> right. Just, and she even gets the kid. She even gets the kid to guilt him. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's a running, that's a running gag throughout this movie. Dad, and I'm proud of smoking, smoking on your birthday. Smoke. Takes the cigarette out of his mouth, and he's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's "Good stuff." So, uh, I guess the human uh, names always—I always mess up the human names. I remember the alligator, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this movie so many times too. Like, how did I forget Hodges? They say his name a lot too. Oh, oh Ramon is all you need, really. <laughs> they do say his name a lot too. The, like the cops are always like Hodges when you know they tell him not to park somewhere, and you're just like, oh, thanks, thanks for noticing. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, I always consider that <laughs> more of an asshole cop move. Like, yep, that's right. I'm parking illegally. Guess what? I'm a cop. You can't do crap about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's a detective, right. so he's higher than them, too. <laughs> well, in any case, uh, he shows up at the office, and I guess the right. first thing that he he's gets... Kind of a, he's a cop with kind of a reputation, too. That's sort of an important part of his character. Yes. Um, they call him Solo Lobo, which is Lone Wolf. So, Because I guess he works without a partner and just has... This kind of whole thing where he's all where he just works alone, and didn't he have like something happen to his former partner or something like that? I'm it's not usually sure. They work alone. In this one, it's not. It's kind of unclear if uh, something happened to his partner and that's why he works alone. But everybody seems to everybody seems to respect him, or at the very least, be slightly afraid of him. <laughs> right, and of course, this oh, one well. also has the. Uh, this one also has the. Um, the usual trope where the chief comes down hard on him, but it's almost like they're buds and it's really, he gives them a hard time, but he also lets them get away with a lot. Well, he, he, he's basically <laughs> yeah. like, like steaming at the, at, at the, uh, the thro- uh, throat at him, at him, not as much as like, uh, normal captains, like, uh, like uh, but, uh, I like how sarcastic Hodges is toward, uh, towards him. He's like, thanks, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have an interesting relationship in this one, because it's like, I'm not sure what Hodges' rank actually is, but the Chief seems to just let him do whatever he wants. <laughs> well, there just so happens to be a severed uh, a leg with the foot still in it uh, that is... Uh, found right in the lake. Yep, and did you see that the uh, there was a little girl next to the cop? I, I, uh, I, Who if, found it? Yeah, like those little kids like pointing at the foot in the water, and like one of the cops comes over and like fishes it out. Right, right. <laughs> and they catch on that it's an alligator pretty quick. Nightmares. So one thing I like about this movie is how fast everybody just ex- most of the people just accept. Oh, it's a giant alligator. Because they do some tests on it, and it's like, oh, this kind of bite could come would only come from like a really big alligator. It's like, oh, there's some proteins that look like saliva. Oh, there are some weird chemicals too, and it well, actually goes pretty smoothly. Like people don't really it, believe him at first, but they get on board pretty fast. Like he doesn't have to do a whole lot of convincing after a point. Not the mayor. The uh, mayor has uh, he has to do a lot of convincing. Well, the mayor, the mayor is in Vinny's pocket, and he is yeah. like absolutely afraid to do anything that will piss off this guy. And Vinny, of course, is trying to buy out the whole area and turn it into a big development. So in he fact, don't I, want anything to get in the way. I think uh, eventually he does get to buy it because because the carnival does happen. Yeah, he's well, hosting a he big. Uh, he's hosting a big uh, weekend where he's trying to get people to sell right. them their homes around the lake, where this is all happening. Yeah, uh, then right. sell them off to a big real estate firm, or not sell. Them, so he's trying to rent them out, rent the property, which 
Yeah, it's uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's, kind of like, a, yeah. It's, it's kind of a cool uh thing how they like focused on like a Hispanic community, right? Like, he's driving out, and they they had that be kind of a plot point because you didn't really get mm-hmm. you didn't really get like a spotlight on some communities being tar on communities like that being targeted in mm-hmm. most movies. I don't think in the era. No, and it seems like there's a gang called the Crazy Boys that <laughs> uh, seem to be a protective gang of the area. Like, they're almost they're, like they're, they're, yeah. yeah, yeah, which which is like the total opposite of the uh, what what gangs look like that would do. You know, they they'd normally well, cause chaos. It's actually like well, it's actually pretty positive. Yeah. Yeah, well, at least the the stereotypical gang, you should say. Um, oh, but yeah, yeah, it should. Okay. We should note though Flip that the two, we, we should we should note that the uh, the fishermen who go disappearing are part of the community, and Hodges, of course, has deep ties to the community. So he's actually uh, he's informed about that that they've gone missing, and he wants to you know look into it or whatever. And that's when the foot turns up, and he's like. Yeah, kind of puts two and two together there, but <laughs> well, <laughs> the no, the, yeah, and, the, and of course, there's the little kid who was playing with his ball in the lake, and uh, his ball goes missing as you see, uh, see the head of the alligator come up and like snatch and it, chomp it. Yeah, yep. that was a cool little moment. Like the little kid just like ah, crying. <laughs> Mommy! Something got my something took my ball. Something ate my like, ball. Something took your ball, all right. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, we ate anything. Rippy the gator went chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh it doesn't it doesn't really take much for him to buy into the giant alligator theory. Uh after seeing like the I think they do find the first what's left of the first couple of victims. And so they have crime scene photos where it's like, oh, this is definitely an alligator when he shows them to his wife, uh, who's also, who's a scientist at the university. Mm-hmm. And it's, kind of guess unclear, it's kind of unclear what she does. Like she's like a chemist and a biologist. It seems something like that. It's, it's definitely multifaceted scientist. <laughs> an interesting relationship. Just in bio. Although then again, you get a you get some overlap. So I which mean... I think they were try, uh, trying to bring back a character that was similar to uh, to the uh, the first to Robin, film. the first one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were that definitely trying to mirror that at least a little bit. But um, I don't know. Um, I, I thought that uh, she was supportive of the, uh, of the situation uh, enough, uh, even though she was like, "I'm going with you." <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody's got to uh, 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 got to move the man covers. I, 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 I <laughs> love how, later. you know he tells the he tells the girl, "I said goodnight," and she ends up coming with. And then he tells his wife not to go, and she has to come with. Him. Neither one of them listen to him. But when he try to he try to bench both the women. And they're both like, "No, we're yeah. going." <laughs> so, well, first, uh, some a bunch of stuff happens before that. Like we meet the guy who will become his partner. So, uh, how exactly is that whole scene set up? Because I remember the scene. I just don't remember what leads up to it. Like they go, they're at Vinny's club, okay. uh, talking to the mayor. Um, mayor has a oh yeah, to... um, and the mayor basically yeah, the, uh, browbeats the captain into taking Hodges off of the case. Uh, yep, and uh, that's when um, uh, uh, that's when uh, the rookie cock comes and handcuffs him to him, and he sa- uh, uh, says, uh, "says Hey, I got to go to the bathroom." No, so, the. Um... They introduced the rookie before that. This was, but this was, I guess, when they really kind of met. met. Yeah, yeah. The rookie was trying to be his uh, his friend, like you know, be his partner and shit. And they were ribbing him because he was trying to get, get out to be his partner. <laughs> and uh, like Hodges, basically Hodges tricks him in the bathroom and handcuffs him to the to- and leaves him handcuffed in the toilet. 
And there's um, something about the automatic flushes whenever he gets up or so, uh, something like that. They never listen. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, he does. Does. This and he does tell humor these, like, in it. Rookie cops, uh, rookie cops never listen. He does <laughs> tell the uh, cops as he's leaving that there was um, uh, a what in the like he exactly. A crazy yeah. person. <laughs> hey, there's some weirdo in the bathroom. Might want to go check it out. So he, does, <laughs> he doesn't just abandon him in there. Like yeah, he's, I thought that he's was giving nice him some help. I thought that was nice of him though. At least uh-huh. I can help. But I like how the mayor's daughter just kind of like goes Appears. all up in there. The mayor's <laughs> yeah. daughter shows up like those cops that are supposed to be escorting her, and uh, they're walking in the lobby and they hear our rookie cop calling for help. Uh, and they're like, "Just stay out here." And she doesn't want to do that, so she just like goes in. And the two cops are like making fun of him, and she's like, "Come on, give him a break." And she puts the quarter in and like starts to help him uncuff himself. And uh, which tabloid which reporters is, run in, and grab a picture, and run out. <laughs> which which, is which I guess, which is uh, which I guess, uh, when they're going down the stairs after that, and and she is she's like, "Hey, let's go out for uh, for a couple of drinks," and he puts it at a standoff, and he's like, "No, I, I'm not go- uh, going." And then she starts walking away, and uh, he's basically very inappropriate. To, uh, he he uh, literally comments her, uh, her on her caboose or something like that. Uh, that the way well, he says it is like she basically uh, she basically asks him on a date, and he's like, "I don't know if we should do that." And then she's like, "Fine," and he's like, "You have a nice butt." <laughs> and well, yeah. he's like, "Oh, yeah." She was in. If, if she a guy in, normally she said something. But because she's uh, into him, she she liked it. <laughs> she didn't mind she did uh, the ask him time out period. It was a little. It was a little dated. Yeah, I was kind because of, I saw that I was kind of like, eh. The comment was kind of like almost too rude to almost have a girl turn around and be like, right. "Oh, I like you again." Uh-huh. Well, she already liked him, but yeah, I I was a little weirded out by that. Uh, seeing it as an adult, because you know, in 1991, yeah, it was like, ha ha. You know, kind of like what happened with some of the stuff in some other movies of the t- of the period, but you know, she was she was really into him. It turns out, so it didn't really matter. Well, um, and they I had mean, a pretty nice date too. As has been said before, you, you got to really look at things from the um, from the time that they are made, not necessarily. Mm-hmm as a as if they were made today <laughs> yeah and this Definitely. one wasn't particularly this one wasn't or particularly like I'm, ju- I'm just not sure if i was a female i would uh, specifically turn around at that comment that's all <laughs> no, definitely not today <laughs> Um, not today. <laughs> Again, I think any if the woman a lot likes worse, the guy, though. she'll turn around no matter what he says. If the girl doesn't, it's harassment. And that's just mm-hmm. generally how it is. But uh, anyway, they have um, the rookie. What is the rookie's name? I can't remember. Wasn't it Harmon or something like that? Harmon. Harmon. See, so many H's. Hodges and Harmon. So Harmon and, and the mayor's daughter go back to Harmon's apartment. And Hodgins is waiting in there for him because Hodgins has been. Which that's a little asleep. creepy. Yeah, Hodges somehow got into his apartment, and he's just been waiting for him to come back because they've been they've basically been tasked to the chief, the mayor, and Vinny all believe in the alligator after an attack on some uh, homeless people, and so they've been tasked to go after the creature, and Hodges has been assigned. Oh, I've forgotten. His name already. H guy. Damn. Harmony. Or oh, Harmon. Man. Harmony. What is wrong with my brain? <laughs> uh, why can't these people be reptiles? It'd be so much easier. <laughs> and anyway, so well, Harmon's been assigned as his partner to go hunt down the alligator. And so Hodges is waiting for him to get back. And he watches him make out he watches Harmon make out with the mayor's daughter through the window of his apartment for kind of a little while. He's kind of just standing there, like looking, and he's kind of like kind of a peeping tom. Well, you get the impression <laughs> that he's like you get the impression that he doesn't want to interrupt, but he's kind of like, okay, come on, hurry up, hurry up, we got a job to do. And then eventually, he just opens the door. It's like, okay, guys, come on. 
and you know. Yeah. But, I love I love the next. He's like, I'm throwing you on my apartment. Have you started yet? I'm planning my next. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk? It's like I've had a few, and he starts pushing him like, <laughs> and Hodge starts pushing him like, let me test your reflexes. Like, stop mm -hmm. it. Yeah, this is my apartment. I'm throwing you out, and he gets him in an arm lock. Hodge just gets him in an arm lock. <laughs> and the girls <laughs> just. I'm planning my next move. And the <laughs> daughter's just like watching this unfold. Well, there's nothing she can really do. She's like uh, offended by it because uh, cause she was really enjoying herself out, out there on the porch, you know? <laughs> no, we, we see them talking in a bar like when they first kiss, before they first kiss. And it's like, this is actually a pretty nice looking date. Like, it looks like they have good chemistry and everything. It was, it was a nice night. Uh, so well, she, she did. She did say he can score points, but he can't score. So they weren't going much further. <laughs> and then she went back to his apartment. So it's like eh, maybe the date went better than she expected it to. I, who knows? But um, so anyway, uh, Hodges is like, "Okay, go get in the shower." And if sober yourself up. That's also a dated term. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Well, and I mean, so, getting in the shower and sobering yourself up to get going uh, for work, uh, no. <laughs> uh, I don't think that would even work all that well. It doesn't. But <laughs> back then, it was just sort of like, yeah, get yourself a shower, have a cup of coffee, that'll do it. But not really, but, hey. It's supposed to be the work, the, the work, the trick to do it. But anyway, oh. so... Uh, they go to they go to hunt the gator for the first time, mm -hmm. and the mayor's daughter tags along, and his wife and Hodge's wife tags along too. And so it's Hodges and dear God Almighty Harmon Harmon Harmon. Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna write this down. Harmon jerk. <laughs> <sighs> Hodges and Harmon are in the sewer looking for the alligator and they encounter it and they're able to, they, they take some shots at it. It doesn't work. They're all pissed they, off. And they even try some grenade. They even try grenades and dynamite and mm -hmm. they don't really do any damage to it. And, no. <laughs> and in the meantime, uh, Vinny has hired uh alligator hunters from i'm guessing louisiana from the sound of their accents well and we get a, a unique intro to uh, 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 to the, yeah. uh, them too um uh the uh, the one guy uh, uh, vinny's body guard he's like you guys look funny and he, and he's like yeah, and he so he takes his knife him. out and he and he basically like throws it at him and scares the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> My brother Billy here is <laughs> fast. And his brother Billy is played uh, in the credits. Uh, Big Billy it was Kane Hodder of Jason I, fame. I kind of figured that. Yeah. He's credited but, as Billy Boy. The, the bearded <laughs> man. Billy Boy. Right. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's a, a good line from the police chief. I'm about to lock you all up in a minute. Lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But anyway, while well, Hodges and uh, Harmon, thank God I remember it at last. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it on my arm. I had to look. Uh, <laughs> so they're having their little adventure, failing to kill the alligator. Meanwhile, the alligator hunters have found the creature's lair, and they're just kind of wading through it not knowing what they're in for, because they just think, oh, it's a big alligator. They don't realize it's like a 30-foot alligator, you know, something like completely unmanageable by hand. And I kind of like to think that Hodges, if he hadn't have, like, radioed into them, they might have been more aware of that the alligator was, like, coming upon them. I don't really think so, because... Um, when the alligator does attack them, uh, you see its eye open from like a resting position. So it seems like the alligator had made it back to its lair kind of a while ago. Like we don't really have a good perception of uh, the time um, that it is. So we're not sure if it's simultaneous. 
So the alligator may have had time to go back to its lair and take a nap. Because it's when they show the alligator's eye, it looks like it's waking up from a nap. Well, you need a nap after eating all those people. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, kind of a lot of what alligators do. They just kind of lie around when they're not hunting. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, the hunters decide that they want to leave when they see the drums of chemicals that have been dumped in there. Uh, one of them touches it, and he burns his hand, so the chemicals are still pretty hot. And or that's at what least... mutated the gator. Uh, I would have to say that... Gator. I would have to say at least the chemicals are still... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, active. Acidic. Active. Oh. Yeah. That's what I that meant thing, by hot. That thing wasn't just big. It was also bulletproof. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, alligators have... Uh, Alligators have these special scales called osteoderms, which are basically outer scales that are made of bone and covered with skin. Uh, so they kind of have a suit of armor, depending on where you're sh where you'd be shooting them. So an alligator that size would have really big, thick osteoderms that could maybe well, deflect bullets if you shot it in the wrong place. And as the hunter actually said later on in the fil a film, is that there's a soft spot on the belly. Uh, of, the uh, of the gator, uh, that you have to be really close in order to uh, in order to uh, to really get uh, get that soft spot where it's vulnerable. I don't have a good <laughs> relationship with the gator first. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Buy dinner first. Well, you can just uh, you can just jump on an alligator and hold its jaws shut, but not an right. alligator that big. Well, you can't all the power. All the power in an alligator's jaws is in the closing, not in the right. opening. So you can hold their mouth shut pretty easy. Uh, just make sure that it can't. Make sure you've got it tied real good. Because right. if you let go, if it can get its jaws on you, you're dead. But it's like yeah. it's one of those things where it's like, make sure you don't miss. <laughs> this isn't the kind of this isn't the kind of animal that you walk up to it and say, "Hey, can I bring you back to my folks to show you off?" <laughs> Alligators and crocodiles have enough bite power that the only thing that outclasses them is something like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it's a it's a very very serious bite. It's like the nastiest bite in the animal kingdom in terms of just like crushing power. How? <sighs> I think it's. I think at one point in the movie they say like three thousand pounds per square inch, and that's pretty much the real number, if I recall correctly. And I think they used a, a term that it looked almost like they had like scissored the 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 limb, you know, and that almost seems like a pretty probably a good way of putting it because most predators there would be a little bit more of a crush and tear element. Um, it wouldn't be likely to be as clean, I would think. They uh, actually yeah. said, said yeah. in the movie it's that his crushing power was like three tons, I believe. Well, yep. and um, um, D, uh, D's char uh, character, the wife, she yeah. also says, uh, said that, uh, that the bite was, uh, was almost like a, a pair of scissors that sheared it through. Right. Which uh, alligators do, they don't really uh, chop like that. It is mostly like ripping and tearing with crocodilians. Right. So let's take a look at that. Uh, why don't you <laughs> take it over for uh, where we're at in the plot? So we are about. Um, let's see here. We're shortly well, after the part that the, uh, uh, they just got out uh, uh, from the se uh, sewers. Well, uh, well, the, actually, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, this is about where they get attacked, right? Right where the, the uh, where the gator hunters, yeah, and they get kind of decimated. Like you see, this one dude that I've got on the screen here, he got kind of beat up, and the main guy barely made it out, but two of them didn't make it. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Hotter being one of the uh, victims yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't last long in the movies he's in. <laughs> <laughs> right. He is. A, he does if he's Jason. 
maybe this was uh, this maybe this was the redheaded stepchild of the Voorhees family. Okay, I'm looking at alligator bite force. 29,980 pounds. So yeah, 3,000 pounds per square Ooh. inch on an alligator bite. That's a couple I... of... Uh, that's a slight... <coughs> What's the crocodile bite? Let's take a look at that. Oh, Saltwater croc. <laughs> right, I was going to say, it probably varies a little bit with species, but yeah. Yeah, I'd say American oh. crocodile probably wouldn't be as strong as a saltwater croc. Saltwater crocodile... Not. 3,700 pounds. Ooh, boy. Yeah. You don't well, want to mess with those. Tiger, well, any... to put it into contrast... Unless hyenas, you're Betty White. To put it into contrast, hyenas, lions, and tigers Ooh. only have around 1,000. Hmm. Enough to get the job done. <laughs> well, in any case, uh, we got two guys survive, uh, surviving from that hunter party. Uh, and th that means the leader guy. Uh, got, uh, well, we at first we didn't know if the leader guy was going to survive, uh, but uh, uh, but the one guy gets up, uh, uh, up and he, he says, "Oh yeah, dude's still down there," and so uh, so um, uh, Hodges uh, throws the rope uh, 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 down, gets down, and basically the dude just grabs onto his leg, and they hoist uh, them both up and. Uh, he, 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 he's uh, like, you can't leave me out of this sh uh, uh, shit. I've got a, uh, I've got business to finish with that alligator, you know. Right, so, and that's one quick, thing. Uh, <laughs> quick callback to uh, the bite force. That mm -hmm. twenty nine eighty uh, psi is from only a thirteen foot alligator. So mm. something like the alligator in our movie, which mm -hmm. is like thirty thirty five. Uh, sure doesn't look at the blam. <laughs> Well, the um, <clears throat> one thing I will give Hawk in this movie, the, the gator hunter, is in a lot of movies, that character would probably... He, he probably would have been more of antagonistic. Uh, I like. I feel like this one was much more business-like. Like, he was more oh, like, yeah. okay. okay, I was hired to do a job... And he just killed a couple of my boys, and I'm just going to, you know, you, you guys. I, I don't. I know this. My the guy that hired me doesn't like you guys, but you seem to know what's up. So okay, we'll we'll work together. You know, like a lot of movies that yeah. would, yeah. So it was kind of interesting. I, I, very, I, I thought very different from the hunter in who was the hunter Brock who was brought in in the first alligator movie, who was very like arrogant and oh, I can right. do this all myself. <laughs> well, he right. was very showmanship. Like, uh, like he was all that. Uh, uh, and uh, he, uh, he definitely got his in the end. <laughs> he got destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> like easy. Uh, he, uh, that, that first guy, he kind of reminded me of uh, uh, like, um, uh, uh, the uh, the hunter that uh, that was in Ju uh, the original Jumanji, uh, I forget his name, but um, he just kind of remi reminded me of so uh, something similar to that. But in any case, uh, so after they get ba uh, back up from the sewer, um, that is when. Uh, what happens next after that? I'm trying to remember. They all die. <laughs> <laughs> I did like how the alligator, when they're sitting there doing the big thing, and it has a very uh, similar... Um, it reminds me a lot of Jaws, how they do that, uh, where they're like, no, we're going to do it anyway. And they end up by having the party, and then the alligator ends up coming up there after they chase out of the sewers and just starts killing people. Which I, I like that. I wish they had done more of that. That would have well, been kind of a cool scene. There was a line that was ripped straight from Jaws. And uh, I, I'm not sure whether it was a nod to it or, or anything like that, but uh, as as Hodges is driving a, a, away from a specific scene, he a, a does as, a, as say, you gotta get him out of the water. And to me, I feel like that uh, 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 that's a line specifically taken from Jaws. 
<laughs> well, the big, the big uh, sales weekend carnival is going on, and it, the mayor is like, you know, this will happen. You know, right. Like, Although in this case, the again, the mayor is basically Vinny's pawn. He has bitch. no. He's spine, basically nothing. Vinny's bitch. I just yeah, he, he is, he is Vinny. Yeah. yeah, he is Vinny's bitch. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the, the mayor in Jaws was much more self-assured. He was the, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Vinny gives sort of like a mobster gangster feel to the, the film. And actually one of the plots that was left out of the Jaws movie that was in the book was that the mayor had mob ties. So I don't know, maybe that was... the beaches open, yeah. Right, so maybe that was actually a little bit of a callback to the book. Who knows? But uh, it definitely the movie Jaws, the mayor was acting much more on his own volition. Well, I do think here. that the wrestling match uh, should be mentioned. Uh, 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 especially since because of the underhandedness and because... Uh, 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 Literally, the mayor's daughter uh, uh, was uh, talking to him, and he, uh, she was like, "Oh, this seems fixed." And he's, he's like, "It is." <laughs> he, he's not even abashedly shamed about it. Right. He just, he, he just uh, automatically tells her, "Yeah, it's fixed." <laughs> You're a girl. I can make you a woman. <laughs> yeah, that was that was gross. <laughs> that was fucked up. I was like, wow, really. <laughs> I think yeah. that was a lot. I think that was a lot worse than than uh, than what the, the uh, Harmon said. <laughs> yeah, what Harmon said was almost uh, was almost cute by comparison. It, it was creative, <laughs> right? <laughs> His words more were more elegant uh, uh, about the caboose. That's for sure. But <laughs> 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 I mean, I, I felt like they uh, they were words of like someone more intelligent than him uh, uh speaking it, it was like a weird weird phrase to hear from him yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, uh, after they've all after the massacre of the hunters they all team up they band together and they go into the sewers to try to blow up the alligator again using some using more dynamite and the gator just eats the bomb that was awesome yeah, <laughs> he, he was and like, uh, I was I was expecting it to blow up and him burp or, or something, and it just never went off. <laughs> uh, I guess that was, was made by da homemade by Dave. I I imagine in two seconds, right? I think I think <laughs> I think Dave did like rig. Yeah, himself. they actually said they actually mentioned that like, oh, nice homemade bomb or something like that. I can't remember. Hawkins said something about the bomb. Yeah, so it was Hodge that made it. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. <laughs> it, uh, it is. That gator will eat anything. And it's like, <laughs> okay, it's kind of a corny line because this is somewhat of a corny movie, but sure. I think the cop had, all the best, the cop had almost all the best lines. Yeah, and uh, eventually we get to our big. Uh, let, me, let me know if I missed anything important, but eventually we get to our big set piece where the alligator crashes the party weekend. Which uh, there's oh. kind of an important moment where nobody's coming to nobody's coming to this thing, and Vinny has his radio DJ tell everybody that you know everything's three food rides everything you know just get people here. So that's why people are right actually there because you know why would you go to Killer Alligator Lake? Which actually that's kind of a callback. Uh... It, that could have very well been a callback to Jaws, to the scene where they're all at the beach, but no one's in the water, and the mayor just leans over to his friend, and he's like, go on out there, come on, let them know it's, you know, get you basically get your butt out there. <laughs> Why don't you what you're doing? Right, yeah. But uh, anyway, so the alligator shows up, and we get a slight bit of comedy where it smashes the uh, test your strength bell. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it slaps somebody into it, and the bell rings as it breaks. I actually laughed my head off through the whole scene. 
whole him running through the crowd, the crowd screaming, him just mostly walking through, knocking everybody. He's not even fighting mm-hmm. anybody. He's just knocking everybody with his tail. People, one one cop goes flying into the grill and catches on fire, and he just sure. the, the alligator just crawling through. And the he's knocking just menacing. It's like he's not even just menacing people. It, it doesn't kill anybody except for Vinny's henchman in this scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't. That cop might. Have, I don't know. He he probably wasn't doing too good after after that. Oh, before actually before this scene, there is a pretty important moment. Uh, Vinny and the mayor have a talk on. Uh, uh yeah. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Yeah. Vinny yeah. shoots, Vinny shoots like, the mayor. Oh, gonna, like, I thought yeah. he was gonna throw him off the with Ferris wheel. Honestly, so I was a little surprised mm. he shot him. But I knew that. Well, and also, it's like the whole movie, this is, again, one of the things, it's like Vinny is that sort of utter douchebag that knows where all the loopholes in the law are, and he exploits them to their fullest. Yeah. And he is very... Very, he seems to be very good at it. That definitely seems to be the 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 impression, and I'm pretty sure, even though you know from the start that he is responsible for a lot, a lot, a lot of illegal activity and activity that really, really should be illegal but isn't because of our stupid system. Uh, he doesn't, to the best of my recollection, actually do anything himself that you know of. But then out of nowhere, he just shoots the mayor. And I did think it was kind of interesting. But on the other hand, I was kind of thinking that was breaking character a little bit for him. I say it was yeah. kind of out of character for yeah. him to do that. But yeah. Yeah. I feel like everything that that was uh, coming to a, he- a head just made him snap in one mo- a moment but, uh, but he well, had to, uh, the, he had that dialogue where he was uh, like this is my king uh, 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 yeah. kingdom that you see out here i'm king i am king you know? i think he was just so arrogant he thought he'd get away with yeah. it yeah and don't it's forget just, he yeah. was sitting right there nice and nice and calm as yeah. they ran the uh the police chief off the road and killing him, you know. And, That's true. And he, I mean, he didn't directly drive the car. Right. So he may as well have been. I mean, he was sitting right there, like all yeah. smart, like I can do it. The other man, you're sitting next to me, and I'm just running your friend off the road and killing him right next to you. What are you gonna do about it? You know. Right. So I don't believe he's really off character at all because you know he already proved that he'll do whatever he wants. And the man knew. Like, yeah. and then when he pulled the gun on him, he was like. We both deserve this. So, like the the bear knew that he'd, he'd eventually get caught or, or something, you know, would happen to him, and so he accepted his fate. Yeah, he was his bitch. <laughs> we do we get, do get the obligatory sweet scene where Vinny gets pushed into the water after trying to after awesome. threatening to shoot Hodges. Best scene. And right. the alligator nails yeah, him, man. which everybody Gore. loves. That yeah, that yeah. Was great. Wish it was a little more gore, but you know. It is a little huh. unclear to me exactly what Vinny's business was because he seems to be real estate, club owner, toxic chemicals. It seemed to just be crime. Like it's that's what I'm saying. Like he, he, had that, crime. <laughs> he definitely had that mob boss feel to him. Yeah. Um, but it definitely, yeah, it, uh, he he seems well, like he's got his fingers in a lot of pies. Yep, <laughs> yep. I think this is. Uh, 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 I think this is why I like this uh, this part of the film because this is when Hodges goes down and and, uh, uh, and with Hawk and I guess Hawk and Hodges um, kind of go at the, at the alligator and and then uh, Hawk basically decimates himself uh, 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 by bringing himself into the jaws of the alligator while stabbing him several times. But um, Hodges goes back into the water, and it, it, he's basically uh, basically goes and stabs the uh, a gator with the uh, with that poison that his wife with had that given toxic him. dart. Yeah, yeah. they briefly yeah, uh, mention, uh, but... they mention it very briefly. It's like you know, I don't know if this will kill the alligator or not, but you can try jabbing him with this. 
the and reason why it really I do like, anything. The reason why I like this part is because you get this great monstrous alligator rolling in the water. I, 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 it's like that moment in uh, what what is it? Uh, uh, Indiana Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, where you get all the uh, uh, gators rolling uh, the the bodies apart and whatnot. Right. Except <laughs> you, you get the, weird sound, the full I'm not sure gators can make. <laughs> you get that full alligator ro uh, roll, like it's enjoying ter tearing something apart. You know. Well, right. it's better than when they have uh, sharks roar like lions and stuff like that, which is uh, hilarious. <laughs> that would be interesting. Well, they only really do the shark roar in uh, Jaws the Revenge, which is uh, not known for being good. Let's just say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I need to see that again, because when I was a kid, I always thought the first movie really was the best one by far, but I enjoyed the second one. I enjoyed the fourth one, and I hated the third one. So it'd be interesting one day to come back to those. I just don't know when that'll happen. You know I what? Personally, <laughs> I personally like Jaws the third 3D one just because I I like Jaws 3D just because I like the giant aquatic amusement park thing. I like that too. Yeah, it's good it idea. That, that, like I enjoy that. Movie, though. I mean, I'm not saying it's a good movie. I'm saying I really like that movie. But anyway, <laughs> so Hawk gets poor Hawk gets it. Like I feel bad that Hawk died. Kind of Hawk died, kind of like Quint does almost. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. And um, so Hodges and uh, Harmon, Harmon, Jesus, <laughs> Hodges and Harmon are rescued by a helicopter that had been called in because. They mention a few times that they're trying to get some military ordinance to help out with the alligator problem. And um, so the helicopter comes by and picks them up. And they have, they bring some, RP, it brings some RPGs. And so they go back into the alligator lair with the RPGs and games? try to blast the alligator. <laughs> uh, bazookas. I knew what you meant. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. You called RP, they're called RPGs. Well, uh, they call them RPGs nowadays instead of bazookas. Right. I, I call them a bazooka. I was like, oh, they go bazooka. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. From, from shooting games nowadays, they're, they're called RPGs. Anyway, uh, so they, they miss with their first shot. And like we get like this quick little moment. And it's like, don't miss Hodges or we're dead. <laughs> that's uh, that's right. Uh, they're not in the helicopter anymore. They're, uh, they're in the blades. They're back in the lair. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, they hit the al they managed to hit the alligator, and it's not RPG proof because they it blows the fuck up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we get alligator prots all over the place. I was like, anyone want alligator soup? Well, yeah, you see yeah. the paper. Uh, uh, you see its you jaws go flying along with a bunch of viscera, so it is very <laughs> definitively dead. Oh yeah, and that, then you get like the hero out. send off when they come out of the sewer. Like everybody's chanting so la, la. So it must be a different right. alligator, alligator ten. <laughs> so it's uh, it's got. So was there know, ten movies or did it just go one two ten? <clears throat> what? There's an alligator X. No, there's not. Yes, there is. It's the only thing I found when I looked on my TV. Um, was alligator X? Maybe not related, but definitely. Maybe would predator. Be there's something called Extinction Predator X. There's something called Super Gator. Oh, there's a ton of alligator movies, but this one is just Alligator X. Don't you test know, my knowledge of alligator movies. If it's if it's not part of the you franchise, not win. they certainly borrow well, from it. When I do an IM when I do an IMDb search, I see a Jurassic Predator Extinction, aka Alligator X, 2014. Yeah, film. I only had got Alligator X on the TV um, when I did I the search. Know. So I don't know. <laughs> hey, you gotta love them alligator films. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I didn't know if it was related or, you know, do they make 10 movies or is it just nope. that one's the, just nope. X or it's not related at all, you know? So. I don't oh, think there's... it's related. Oh, there's it's, related to, it's actually related to the X Men. Hey. And, uh, hey. 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 All right. 
Uh, it's I it's these Toad's were good. cousin. <laughs> I say I thought these were good movies overall. Uh, mm-hmm. They're they're not like they're not movies that I would be like, yeah, uh, I'm gonna watch these all the time or or as I art. Oh yeah, definitely not. But uh, you know, it's one that I would watch if I wanted to watch one of these types of films. But you know, monster films uh, as they are. I'd actually prefer it over Godzilla. I'm not a Godzilla fan. So. What was that sound? Yeah, we we had it all the time. I love King Kong. Uh, Godzilla being King Kong is ridiculous, but yeah. <laughs> but uh, we didn't mention the best line in the movie, or my favorite line in the movie, when the bad guy gets gets killed, and the alligator hunter is like. Damn, I didn't get paid. <laughs> oh, that was great. I, I, I can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, it was good times. That was, that was, that was one of my I mean, like I said, the cop had most of the lines. That one was the best. <laughs> Damn, I didn't get paid. <laughs> so good. So there's there's a lot of there's a lot to like in this movie, even though it's maybe not like the greatest film of all time, you know? Oh, there's definitely. still there's still just so much to enjoy. Yeah, the, the dialogue makes up for the for the um a lot of the movement of the alligator. Like some of the kill kill moments and stuff is kind of slow or not the greatest, but the the dialogue is really fun and, and and they really they really sell the alligator when the alligator sells itself. You know, the alligator does look. I mean, you can tell it's kind of phony, but it does sell it. It does work very well as an effect. Like yeah. it's uh. Like I said, I, I, that that scene with the carnival, I just laughed. I laughed the whole the whole scene. I just thought it was so kind of ridiculous, but funny at should, the same time. Should we go ahead and, and and do effects? Are we at that point? Yeah, yeah, we're at the end. So let's do effects. Uh, so well, like I was saying, I think this has pretty good effects overall. Uh, the alligator is convincing yeah, enough. Pretty it's good. A little, it's a little phony looking. Uh, in some scenes, like it's kind of rubbery, but uh, it's really not too bad. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Oh yeah, I do like that they kind of mixed in a real one and uh, did all that fun stuff. I mean, as far as it, it was believable enough that I was willing to go, okay, well. Yeah, I could see it killing everything. <laughs> As you do in, in these movies. And, uh, well, let's see. What other effects were really in this um, besides the alligator itself? I mean, we had we had some good explosions. These are makeup. <laughs> Yeah, people looked uh, suitably torn up uh, when they got injured. <laughs> um, one thing, like, they did use a real alligator in some scenes where it would have been pretty much impossible for the giant animatronic alligator to do what it would need to do. Like, in the in the sewer, when it smashes through that concrete wall and walks through it, like, it has to turn its body to, like, curve into it. And mm-hmm. there's no way that big stiff puppet could have done that. So they use a mo- a scale set uh, with a real alligator to do that. The and I think it you can always kind of tell because the real alligator, well, it's a real alligator. It looks almost nothing like the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of just... jarring, but. I just wish that he would have been able to chomp a few people while he was going on the rampage in the carnival. That's about it. Right? What I, that's what I'm saying. It's like he wasn't even hungry. He was just running through and burning a muck. <laughs> his jaws were just snapping open and shut. Yeah, which was really silly looking. I mean, that, that's how I felt. It was really silly. So Other looking. than that, yeah. I th- I th- I thought this was a good send up to uh, to the fir- uh, first uh, first one. I do wish that it was a tad bit uh, more bloodier than the fir- uh, 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 or at least I at least 
I, I, I wish like that it because it w- it's not as bloody. Oh, I, Wait, I was what? actually happier without the uh, bloodiness. I mean, Wait, I don't need what? it. Same here. It, I mean, if if it has a good purpose, yes, but uh, just adding blood for the sake of it, nah. To me, it would have made the movie less enjoyable. I would it's have to say not for the sake of it, but for the reality of it. Exactly. I, I would not the, uh, say I think for the, the sake uh, of it. I think the film jumped the gator early on when it came to reality. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, like with the Incredible Hulk, he smashes things and nothing ever really gets flooded. You're dead. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> well, if you want realistic superheroes, you're going to have to go to Invincible or The Boys. Yeah. Well, well no, actually, Man of Steel did that pretty well. And that's why Batman wanted to kill Superman because oh. people are looking for. Oh, the they needed to show more bloody bodies with Superman tearing into people. <laughs> they need to show dead bodies everywhere. Well, yeah. Superman didn't tear into people. He just fought Zod that you know, ran into buildings and the buildings fell on people and stuff. <laughs> Shall we go to favorites? Yeah, I think favorites. Yeah, I think it's about time. Uh, we can cover... How about we cover music real quick, too? Because... This um this didn't really have a whole ton of music that I can recall. Like it had a really it had a really fun like at the very end it had this really nice like almost stereotypical like eighties like beginning of the nineties like synthy kind of thing that played like like at the end of a cop movie you know it's hard to describe almost like something you'd hear on like Miami Vice or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, like uh, like it, it was like television mu- music or something like that. Something you'd hear in an elevator. <laughs> I don't know about elevator, but yeah, close enough. So elevators I've ever been in and things like that. Well, I, I'm talking about like seventies elevators. <laughs> I was three in this. Well, I was born in seventy three, so I didn't remember taking elevators when I was in the seventies. <laughs> well, it wasn't. It wasn't really like that. Ah, but it's usually some sort of music of, of some sort. <laughs> yeah, which, nah, definitely. Uh, I didn't think it was necessarily elevator music, but uh, uh, yeah, it, it did what it was supposed to do. That, that's about right. the best I could say. <laughs> Not not really one of those that I would be like, oh man, I gotta get the soundtrack to this bad boy. Um, no. No, probably not. I didn't really have a whole lot of music, um, aside from that like riff at the end that I can remember. I mean there was some music for like the action scenes, but it was just it was just standard. Yeah, so not, not, not a whole lot of not a whole lot of standouts. Yeah, I wanted really say as much to discuss there with the music yeah that's why i wanted to get get it covered real quick right uh, i think we're gonna go on the favorites right yep sounds good all right who wants to go first well i already mentioned my favorite scene i'll say it again the carnival scene only because of how ridiculous it was and how much i laughed through that scene i mean whether it's supposed to be funny or not uh that's how i that's all came across me as being very funny and and silly Hmm. So, what are your thoughts, Dave? Um, my thoughts. I, I would have to say, uh, say, uh, say when the, uh, the uh, alligator like crashed through the wall. That, that was pretty awesome. Uh, 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 j- uh just the way that uh, that they're uh, like, oh, he's coming through the wall, and uh, 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 they couldn't like shoot him worth shit, and uh, uh, they even tried to grenade the bastard, and he didn't do anything. Uh, 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 so uh, so that whole sequence was just kind of awesome, um, and of course uh, the part where uh, uh, Vinny got his uh, got his comeuppance. Right, I'm probably gonna have to agree on that one. Ed is just it was just something satisfying about seeing him get it. <laughs> and I, I will him. have to mention I loved uh, the uh, the uh, the the glorious alligator roll. To uh, to me that uh, that was like. 
one of the best alligator uh, roles oh, when on, it, when on it screen. Death rolls poor Hawk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that was a great scene. I kept saying, why doesn't freaking, what's the name? Uh, it's Dodger Steve Stabbin. You know, I was like, this is Belly Stabbin. Stabbin. <laughs> I guess the music was done by Jack K. Tiller, okay. which I guess he did some of the music behind Caddyshack and Jason Goes to Hell and Friday the 13th Part 3. Oh, cool. So oh, Caddyshack's an awesome movie. Bit of a bit of a pedigree then. <laughs> and I guess he was an editor of the music in House 4. The other two, you know, it's weird that the House 3 and 4 are... Very much underrated films. I, I'm glad that they don't get the viewing that they should. Oh, and Maniac Cat too, and one. Maniac Cat. Maniac Cop, one oh, and two. Okay. Ooh, Maniac Cat. I like that. That's a good. <laughs> that <laughs> would Maniac. be an awesome. Never heard of those. Those I said cop. <laughs> oh, I thought I you chatted Maniac but... Cop. <laughs> <laughs> we actually covered Maniac Cop, so hey, we we, we actually are on top well, of Well, now we need a Maniac Cat. <laughs> oh, he, he actually worked on the Giant Spider Invasion, uh, which was a Bill Rebane film. Cool. Oh, the Maniac Cat? Uh-huh. No! <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the musician here, Jack Tiller. Hmm. All right, Brandon. Did you do favorites? Uh, I like uh, seeing Vinny get his in the end. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. Um, Jake, did you say something? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. I said it. Uh, 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 same thing. Okay. Yeah. What about? Uh, did you uh, mention yours, Dustin? Um, I've been having trouble picking up one favorite, actually, because I enjoy so much of this movie. Um, like, the introduction of the mayor's daughter is a fun scene. Oh, yeah. Um, because yeah, there's that, there's that yeah. little moment that we didn't cover where yeah. uh, the two cops are I supposed bet. to be escorting her. It's like, oh, I bet she treats us like crap. Uh, and she walks up and to them. She's, and she's, and she's just like, as a... and she's just super friendly. It's like, hey, guys, you know, how you doing? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and she... Uh, she actually did not look bad. Uh, oh, no, she, no, not at she all. She was good looking, seemed to be smart, very clean nice. cut. She cared about she cared about her father. She cared about everybody. She just basically was a caring person and you know, very, very sweet. And uh, actually along those lines, I guess I should mention the young Latina at the beginning of the movie was um pretty nice too. But anyway. Oh, all the, the, the <laughs> sister to the guys that got killed? Yeah. Yeah, I think she might have been their daughter. I think. Uh, no, I, I think, think she, she said was. they were two brothers. Well, they said two brothers, so I don't know if they were. Like, well, they guys, were. The they were brothers. Killed brothers. Killed were brothers. And they were she brothers. Was there with her mo- she was there with her mother. Right. Um, but it could have been the mother's kids. Brothers. So I don't know. They never really actually said. They just said they were two brothers. Right, I but yeah, it was there for her dad. It was that. It was. I, dad. I, I will add to mine the um the with the mayor's daughter the 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 scene with her and Vinny where you kind of get the the feeling that like she was willing to more or less stand her ground with him in a way no one else would. That was, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. But but she drew the line when he started hitting on her. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about, standing in <laughs> the ground a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. I, I also th- uh, th- think the part uh, where she had to get Harmon uh, uh, out of the bath, uh, 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 out of the uh, the stall. That was. Oh yeah. Was okay. Hilarious. Yeah. Trapping trapping Harmon in the stall. That was also good. <laughs> <laughs> I love the reporters getting pictures of like it looks like there might be something good going on, but they both have clothes on, so it's like yeah, because the reason why uh, why they they would put like a quarter thing on uh, there is because it was a public stall, so it was an easier way, a way to keep out the riffraff if they <laughs> if they put uh, if if they put a money mm-hmm. machine. Like. I think it I think it was just because the because Vinny was greedy. 
because I've, yeah. I've never seen a coin operated soul. That's that was crappy. that was in oh. the uh, the police station. Oh. Yeah, the, um, no, that was the club. No, no, that, that was the club. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. the club. Yeah. yeah. And yep. uh, actually, oh, it depends shit. on where you go. I've seen it. It's a lot more common in Europe than it is in the United States. Uh, but, yeah, you gotta um, go to the bathroom and it's like, oh, great, I don't have any change on me. Especially nowadays, nobody carries money. <laughs> that would suck. Right. <laughs> Yeah, go that's back. that's one thing. If any of y'all ever go to a good uh, gimmick Europe, for restaurants, technically. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> if any of y'all go to Europe, bring change. If you want to, if you want to use the restroom publicly. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> Does your bathroom accept credit cards? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, join us uh, on the next ep e episode uh, where we will be de uh, definitely co uh, covering another cool creature uh, film called Komodo, I believe. Lizards. So stay yeah. tuned. Big lizard. We'll be back mm -hmm. uh, after a intermission. So hopefully mm -hmm. you enjoyed our little talk on alligator 2 the mutation like share and subscribe and if you can find it see this movie indeed night night